quick follow-up of the uh, Tandy Pro Cowboy Outlaw uh, non-powered leather sewing machine. I want to follow up and uh, I was referring to uh, Ryan Neal as a Neal, but it's Ryan Neal with uh, Cowboy Outlaw. And here's, here's a closer image of the pouches that I was telling you about. And again, these were my first two projects. Really, really happy with the stitching. I hope the camera can get that. Some quick samples that I was just messing around with. Different thicknesses, different textures. And I have literally, I have about three to four hours. I bought this machine 10 days ago, but I have three or four hours time on it. Earlier when I said that it comes with one pound threads, yes, it comes with one pound threads, but you could put a half pound thread on there for different colors. Here's close up of the presser foot, roller guide, this little pin and a hole for the, uh, threading the bobbin, that plate back there. So as far as the videos, the most current videos are the ones that I mentioned in the previous YouTube video. Because there are some videos out there that talk about the predecessor that don't have these newer style of uh, fins. So that's why I mentioned those videos. And again, I just got cut off on the last video, but basically I wanted to mention that uh, Ryan Neal was very helpful. Before I bought the machine, I asked him all kinds of questions on it. I was skeptical, and uh, he walked me through it. There was a little frustration process, but he basically walked me through it. Do not give up on this machine. It's a beautiful machine. I'm extremely happy with it. I have not had to mess with these tension knobs once he walked me through the correct tension. So it's not like you have to adjust these tensions. I'm sewing different thicknesses of leather with the same tension. I'm not sure if the camera will capture this, but real simple. Lift up the presser foot. You can practice different depths. Two o'clock position, very light pressure. You don't have to just, I mean, it's, it's hardly any pressure at all. One, two, just like, just like in the videos instructed. Very, very little pressure, very little pressure. To make the turn, just lift the presser foot. Make the turn, lift the presser foot. Lift the turn, make a turn. Lift the presser foot, and that's, that's it. I'm not as focused because I'm videotaping, but when you concentrate on what you're doing here, just flip the thing around, line up the hole, which is there. Lock your back stitch, and watch how I press the, the presser foot lift and I rock back and forth, rock back and forth, just like, just like he said in the video, okay? And, and there's, there's a stitch. And again, this happened because I was not focused on the, the um, cycling the machine. When you get comfortable, when you get used to this, you cycle the machine very smoothly Something like this right here never happens, hardly ever happens. It's just only because I'm videotaping and I'm not really focused, but it's just a little practice on the machine. And this is a follow-up. As far as lifting uh, the string from the bobbin, it is so, so simple. Basically, cycle once and pick up the thread. And there it is, there it is. Cycle once, pick up the thread. Put your thread, put both the threads behind 
the presser foot, and it's that simple. It's real easy to use. Here you can tell I was practicing like where to start the stitches. Here it was too, I started too soon. Just practice, practice, practice. Anyhow, that's my, that's my final, um, those are my final thoughts about this machine and I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I hope this helps for anybody to make any kinds of decisions on, on this, on this, on this particular um, leather sewing machine, Tanny Pro Cowboy Outlaw.